Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel and today we are going to talk about big news on September 25th at 8.44 in the morning, China openly admitted that the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force has carried out a successful Intercontinental Ballistic Missile or ICBM test. The ICBM landed in the designated target area in the Pacific Ocean accurately according to plan. But the missile used on the test is carrying a dummy warhead instead of a real one. China tested an ICBM missile that could hit any part of the United States with its range. This is according to Chinese military publication, and this is China's first ICBM test after many decades. The last known test was in 1980 when they test fired their newly developed Dongfeng 5 or TF 5 intercontinental ballistic missile. The DF 5 ICBM has a maximum range of 15,000 kilometers. It has a top speed of Mach 22 or 26, 950 kilometers per hour, and it can carry 12 nuclear or non nuclear warheads. Now, first of all, this is not surprising. China is well known to be among the strongest military in the world. And they have among the most capable ICBM missile in terms of payload and range that's on par with the American and Russian ICBM in service. In 2022, China even successfully tested their biggest weapon threat to the United States, their new hypersonic weapon that circled the globe during test flight sending a strong signal to their adversaries that they can hit anyone wherever in the world, and they can even hit their target from every direction. So why is China testing an ICBM again now? ICBMs are not new, and they have this type of weapon for a very long time. The answer is probably just to send a message and remind its adversaries that we do have this deadly weapon in our stockpile. But of course, officially, they said on public that this is just a regular missile test by the PLA rocket force. And the missile test was not intended to any country as a message. And the test followed international law and regulations regarding to this kind of weapon test. According to them, this is just part of their regular annual test. The test on September 25th, I think, was carried out probably by using their newer and more capable ICBM the TF-41 that only recently entered service in 2017. The TF-41 has a maximum range of 14,000 to 15,000 kilometers. It has incredible maximum speed of Mach 25 or 31, 425 kilometers per hour, and it can carry 10 nuclear or non-nuclear warhead. Or it could be that the DF-31 was used instead. China has also been ramping to increase its nuclear arsenal, and they're also increasing their nuclear launchers. There are new missile silos in the Taklamakan Desert in Xinjiang. In fact, in 2023, China has around 410 nuclear missile in inventory, and that number rose to 500 in 2024. The Pentagon even estimates that they could reach 1,500 or larger by 2035. In comparison, the United States has a large inventory of 3,708 active nuclear warheads, while Russia has the largest nuclear stockpile in the world, which stands at 4,380, a large stockpile they inherited from the Soviet Union. But all of the United States and Russia's large stockpile are acquired during the height of the Cold War. During the nuclear arms race in the 1960s to the 1980s. But since the 90s, both countries have increased their inventory. Now it's only China that is continuously growing their nuclear arsenal by the day. Lastly, China has no first-use policy on nuclear weapon. It means they would only use it if they were attacked with a nuclear weapon first. For now, this is their current nuclear policy, unless they change it in the future. 